Hey guys, welcome back to GeForce J. So, today I'm going to be doing our review on something called the Light Pack. I actually just got this in the mail, and what it is, is it's basically a series of LEDs that mount onto the back of your um, television through a hub. And what these LEDs do is, they actually illuminate the back portion of your screen. Now, if you notice now, I actually do have something like that hooked up to the back of my television, which is illuminating already. Uh, this is something that I purchased on eBay, and it's really neat, and it's got a controller that supports a whole bunch of different colors. So what you can do is you can go in, and depending on whatever's on your screen or you're watching, you can actually change the mood a little bit by choosing the color LCD that's illuminating on the back of the wall. But where the light pack differs, though, is it actually comes with software that installs to your computer that actually changes with whatever's displaying on the screen. So if you're playing a game or watching a movie, the lights will actually change with whatever's on the screen. So I'm really excited to see how this is going to work out and how it works. I'm hoping that it adds a little bit more uh, depth to gaming and it, you know maybe make it a little more dreary or in the bright scenes make it more bright. So I'm really excited to see how this goes. All right, so let's take a look. So guys, what we have here is the light box. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open it up and we'll take a look and see exactly what content comes inside this box. Uh, there's two sticky parts on the back here, uh, which I think you just break off the two and hopefully it just opens. Nope, it's actually completely closed. So you actually have to peel it open. And I'm going to just pop that open there. And it looks like it needs another cut. This box is actually pretty tight, surprisingly. And here's the content of what comes inside. Let's make sure we got everything here. Okay, no. Oh. Pack, we just put that off to the side. Put that off to the side. Okay, so it comes with an installation guide. And this here is a warranty from Lightpack. It comes with some 3M adhesive tape. Uh, so this is how you can mount the LED strips to the back of your television. Uh, from what I can tell here, they're pretty much to scale on the length. Uh, and actually, if you look here on the LEDs, they actually come with additional 3M tape as well. So this might actually be for the hub portion. You have the Lightpack hub, uh, and let's see here. It also comes with 3M tape on the back uh, for mounting purposes. And as you can see here, you have five inputs on one side and five inputs on the other uh, for essentially 10 uh, LEDs that'll plug in and the power adapter. You have a box of twist ties uh, with some additional uh, mounting brackets, it looks like. You have your uh, 12 volt power inverter. Oh, this is interesting, guys. I guess uh, they've been, uh, this was a, a Kickstarter campaign, so they must have been selling this globally because you do have the different adapters for the different regions depending on where you are. Uh, that, I think that's excellent. That's great. Um, what a great feature to have uh, depending on your area. Uh, also good for resale value if you end up not liking it and you want to sell it on eBay for someone else. Uh, looks like there's the USB adapter here. Um, I'm assuming this plugs in for the software to your computer. I'll read that a little more. And then your actual LED lights. And you can see here essentially how long they are, and there is 10 of those in two. Alright guys, well as you can see here, uh, I've installed the light pack, um, all the different LEDs and uh, the box in the middle. Um, now light pack says it takes about 15 minutes to set this up. Uh, I'm a bit of a perfectionist when it comes to cable management uh, and hopefully it shows here in the work. So I took my time. It took me about uh, 45 minutes to do this. Um, I wanted to make sure my spacing was perfect. Uh, they do give you a couple of different options for setting up the LEDs. Uh, this one works best for my TV. Um, they do tend to recommend though from their website that if you have a TV larger than 50 inches you buy two of the light packs. Uh, my TV is a 55 and I use the one pack so I'm curious to see how this is going to work out. Uh, it didn't make sense for me to spend another 100 bucks for something I hadn't even tried yet. So uh, basically um, the cable management is done. Uh, so next step now is installing the software itself. 
Hey guys, just before I move on uh, to the software installation, I did think it would be worth mentioning um, that it would be a good idea to have a couple tools on hand when doing this as well. Uh, so I'm just going to point out a couple things that made it a little easier for me. Um, they do have some uh, tie downs. Uh, you can get these at the dollar store. It comes with four, but I didn't think four was enough. I used way more than that. Uh, these cost about three bucks at the dollar store. It comes in different colors. Uh, I chose red just because it was easier to see on the black background. Uh, so definitely some twist ties. Uh, not twist ties, rather some tie downs. Um, and uh, a pair of um, uh, pl uh, uh, wire cutters, just so that uh, you can cut the edges off so you don't cut yourself and have that stuff dangling around. So those came in pretty handy. Uh, I also kept a flashlight. I mean, if you're working in a well-lidded area, not a big deal. But once you install the box itself, the numbers, uh, they're a little tricky to see. So a flashlight just so you can get in there and make sure because if you're not running the proper cable to the box in the right spot, it will be incorrect. So for example, if number one is down here and you put it up here, the color coordination isn't going to work correctly. And uh, the only other thing I noticed that came in handy uh, was an X-Acto knife. And the reason is uh, I did have to use a little piece of the uh, 3M. And if you're like me and have no fingernails, you can't peel the strips off. And also it was easier to cut as well uh, than with using the uh, wire cutters, obviously. So, all right, so moving on to installation. Okay guys, so I've fully installed the light pack and I've got the software up and running right now. Uh, so this is the interface for the Prismatic software you download to work in conjunction with Lightpack. Um, it does have a few different tabs to go through. Um, mode uh, is, seems to be the, the main one you'll use. It's set to screen grabbing right now, but it does give you the ability to set it as a solid color as well. Uh, you can adjust such things here as the grab delay, so I guess how fast it's grabbing the different colors. Uh, if you don't want to have it changing, you can average out the LEDs. Uh, you can do luminosity threshold. So this is basically under the dark zones, it's going to grab less than more. Uh, it's got an option for both of those. Still got to figure all that out. Uh, under the device tab, you have your gamma, overall brightness. I'm not going to adjust anything here because I've kind of got it set up for myself, which you'll see in the next tab. Under profiles, I did a default one under light pack, but I got better results with the one I created myself. So I just called it as a test. Uh, and the more I play around with it, hopefully I get better results. And then there's a plugin and about page. So what I did was, uh, I'm just going to zoom out for you guys here. Uh, I've created a, uh, didn't create rather, I went to YouTube and found a uh, test video. So let's just open that up all the way and wait till it loads up. And what I'm going to do here is run the test here so you can see how it uh, goes through the different colors. All right, so that's pretty much it for my um, unboxing video on the light pack. Uh, it seems to be pretty cool so far. I'm hoping to do a follow-up video on this later on once I get some in-game footage and stuff like that. So hopefully you can see how it creates a little bit of mood. But that there kind of give you a little example of what I was referring to at the beginning of this video. So hopefully it helped for you guys. Hopefully maybe it's, if it's something you end up buying and you have any questions, please feel to drop a comment in the section below and let me know and I'll be more than happy to answer any questions. Thanks again for tuning in again. I'm GeForceJ and we'll see you guys soon.